A four and a half hour drive brought us here, the ferry terminal in North Sydney, Nova Scotia. We were about to embark on the seven hour ferry ride over a section of the Atlantic Ocean from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. As we spent some time within the ferry terminal, we reflected on why we chose to visit this location. Back in the car, we prepared to board our iron horse, shuttling us to a place of unknown. Well, everyone, right in front of us is the ferry to Newfoundland, and we're about to begin our next big adventure here in eastern Canada. So for the next three weeks, we're going to be exploring everything Newfoundland has to offer. Initial trip thoughts? So far? Yeah. Exciting? Oh, uh, no, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. They're exciting. There you go. <laughs> the idea of being on a ferry for seven hours didn't sit well with me. The ferries I've traveled on in the past have been small, basic, and uncomfortable. As you drive on board, you start to get the sense this ferry may not be like that at all. Big tractor trailers, rows upon rows of vehicles, this rig can hold a lot. Making our way into the ferry, our eyes gleamed with joy as we are welcomed by comfortable space. TVs, reclining chairs, and a host of food and drink options. Now this is what I'm talking about. We didn't want to begin our journey inside, however. We headed out to one of the viewing decks to say farewell to Nova Scotia and begin our voyage connecting with the sea. So we're about two hours into the journey so far, and we're finally at a point where we can't see any land. It's just a little while ago when Akane looked out, she's like, why is there steam? coming out of the middle of the ocean. And we look, it wasn't steam, it was a whale. <laughs> Newfoundland is a prime uh, area to see whales, as is Nova Scotia, so the passage between the two makes a lot of sense. After our first whale sighting, we began keeping a closer eye on the sea. Did you find any whales? No whales. No dolphins? Not yet. It's amazing how impactful the sea can be on your eyes. The sun catches the water, you think you see something, but there's nothing there at all. It's just ocean. It's just a mind game. The hours quickly passed. Before we knew it, the skies turned from clear blue to dark gray. Newfoundland was in our sights. So there we go. So we have seen our first sights of Newfoundland. Well, Akane has now seen her first sights of Newfoundland. So we're about 15 minutes out from being uh, docked, very exciting, and as expected it was rocky and foggy, <laughs> and, a little bit chilly. and a little bit chilly. As we sailed in, we saw our first Newfoundland community, the town of Port Basque. As expected, the people who call Newfoundland home embrace the sea. The homes are built on the water's edge. Many of the residents are fishermen, and the closer you are to work, the better. So, from the ferry deck here at Port of Basque, Newfoundland, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. I also want to give a special thank you to Marine Atlantic, who has helped supporting this project. So, we're looking forward to sharing all our adventures here with you. So, if you're new to this channel, I want to say welcome, and I hope you subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, I want to say thank you for coming back. Uh, we're going to be doing some amazing things here in Newfoundland, and I hope you're really going to enjoy this series. Hope to see you all in the next one. Newfoundland greeted us with the cold and fog. Was this an omen for the rest of the trip? Only time.